Hello everyone and welcome back to the Schmitter's 100 Acre Woods. So today I'm going to work on uh, doing some splitting down here in our little uh, log yard. Got going. So right now I have just this little bit of I believe maple that brought back from uh, the a lady's house where the tree had fallen so still have a little bit of that work on getting it uh, split up um, most of it's pretty small so it shouldn't take too long to get through that the other thing I have is this 16 foot dump trailer full of firewood so I did have the truck full of some of that sycamore as well. So I threw the sycamore in here just so it wouldn't tie up the truck. So have all of that to get through. So have this tote, this is number 25. So been splitting up some of the smaller or this uh, maple into small pieces for the uh, bag firewood probably call that good on bag firewood for right now at least for the maple uh, as you can see there's some cherry in here and it works really well for bag firewood a it splits up really nice because most of it's pretty straight so it makes really good wood but then it also smells really good when you burn it so it makes really good bag firewood so uh, the rest of this stuff here i'll go ahead and do uh, just normal pieces and I'll probably just throw it in the dump trailer here. So I'll take you around to the woodshed and kind of show you what we got there. Up here, just up the hill at the woodshed. So I do have all these totes kind of ready to be filled. But I'm going to take a break from putting it in the totes, even though it's super convenient. Uh, it does, uh, it only holds, you know, a third of a cord. And we can stack a lot more in here to dry. So we have these four bays here. This is the only bay that we used this past winter. So bay three here has um, just a little bit left in the bottom and everything else we burned. So this little bit that's down here we'll take out and just stack it over here in bay four, which bay four is what we'll use this coming up winter uh, to burn. It's been seasoned now for three-ish years I believe to the three years so it'll be good and ready so also have these bays here and they'll be drying so we have plenty of firewood and once I get this filled up I'll switch back to the totes so I'm gonna get started on splitting some of this stuff so first thing I'm gonna do is get this tote out of the way put the lid on it I'll probably go ahead and just take it out back so it can start drying uh, I'll make a note of that on my phone, put it in my spreadsheet so that I can record when I have this done so I know how long it's been drying. And then right now I just have some scraps of pieces that uh, when I've been splitting some of this bag firewood, I try to like to have, you know, pretty, pretty small straight pieces. On here are some of the uh, knots and different ends that um, you know, didn't work out very well on a piece of firewood, so I've been just checking them up there. So it's kind of a mix of stuff, and uh, I'll just add to that pile, and uh, and then probably end up having to move some of these totes. I move them kind of back behind, so I can drag this trailer forward, back it up over there, and start stacking in bay three, and get it filled up for so it can start drying, and. If one bay gets us about, you know, a winter, it'll be, you know, three years or so before um, we're, we're back around to that one. So uh, it'll have plenty of time to dry out and be ready to burn, burn at that point.
Okay, so I'm going to do a preliminary review on these uh, Showa Atlas gloves here. So, as you know, as you, people have used gloves, or if you're familiar with definitely working with firewood and using gloves, you end up, you know, this is a pretty popular brand that, uh, that we've used for a long time and have lots of pairs of. But after, you know, a few months of using them, definitely out in the woods and uh, dealing with wood and firewood, end up, and like these are a couple of the better pairs. I think a lot of the ones that we have that, uh, that were completely shredded, um, we went ahead and already chucked, but these are kind of some of the marginal ones. But, uh, you know, as we start using these, they have their... You know, kind of a thinner material. These kind of are thicker, but have the um, the leather in it. And as you can see, just as you use it, it starts to come apart, and the fingers blow out, or you have big cuts in the side. And here, you know, worn out the thumb and the middle finger here, and starting to wear out that that center finger or the pointer finger. So, I was tired of going through so many pairs of gloves. So I thought I'd give these a try. Now I looked up, and I actually just Googled, you know, uh, gloves for, for firewood. And these came up a lot. And a couple of different sites that I've bought some of the chokers and stuff from uh, have these gloves. These I just got on Amazon. I think it was like a 12 pack that weren't too bad uh, price-wise. But basically they have this cotton back, which does allow it to breathe a little bit. And then the palm of it is this kind of rubber, and I have I've only had these not quite a month yet, so this is a pretty early review of them. But kind of a couple of the things I like is it does have some texture in it, so it doesn't make it, it does make it easier to grip things. The you know this part is obviously waterproof. So with it being rubber, water doesn't go straight into it. So obviously on the back, water's gonna get through that. But on this part, if you're picking up something that may be a little damp, your hand doesn't instantly you know, get that moisture like some of these other gloves do. So I like that aspect. Um, Size-wise, they run just a little bit big. So I, got, I typically wear a, a large. And in there, they're just a little big. I don't think a small would, or a medium, I mean, would would be, I think it may be too tight. So, size-wise, they're pretty close to normal gloves, so that part's all right. And I'll kind of keep updated on how these work out and if they wear out similarly. Uh, I've been using them a lot right now for just splitting the firewood, uh, doing uh, some of the cleanup videos of the cedar tree. That stuff's pretty hard on the hands just because it was all dried out, so I've been using them for that. And so far, so good. Um, they are a little warm for the summer, so we'll see how that goes as we progress through. But uh, preliminarily, like them and keep you updated throughout the summer and see how how well they hold up and you know if there's any issues I have, like them being too hot or anything like that. There is kind of an elastic here for the um, for the wrist that's supposed to keep you know dust and uh, sawdust and, and wood chips out. So we'll see you know if that kind of wears out over time or um, if I have any other issues. So I'll keep you guys updated on on these and how I like them.